Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell. I'll let you know every time I upload a video. All right. The cards already want to speak for the Virgo. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, we need an overall energy for my beautiful Virgo, please. An overall energy for my beautiful Virgo. Okay. Well, there you are. Okay. One more for Virgo. Okay. We have the birth card as our first card. So that definitely is your energy, Virgo. You're, you're Virgo the Virgin. Okay. You're innocent. You're, you know, you have a lot of childlike, you know, qualities about you. Let's see. It says birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. This is also kind of like an Ace of Pentacles card for me too. I feel like, like you're something uh, is a big opportunity is set to arrive for you and it's going to land right into your hands. You might be giving birth to a new beginning or we can take the, the general reading of this card. Okay, you might be having a child or, you know, bringing a child into the world. Or celebrating a birthday but we'll see oh, this is before I even saw this card I know I said celebrating but here it is celebration that's your second card so this could be something really special happening for you New Year's Eve okay with the new beginning and celebration that looks like New Year's Eve to me okay so you might be receiving a, a big time offer December 31st around 12 a.m. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into this Virgo. Oh my gosh. I feel like like really new exciting times. I feel like 2024 is really going to be good for the Virgo. And um, you may have been invited someplace invited to like a new year's party or something and like i said something big is going to happen there because like this is like my ace of pentacles card okay Ooh. speaking of pentacles here we go with the privileged lady <laughs> so you could be hosting a, a party like i said i mean look at her she's like she's all dressed ready to go out and actually she's out of the house so and she's traveling somewhere she's going somewhere and she's going you know dressed to the nines so i feel like she's she's going to like a really like big time party and when she gets there like you might run into i mean if you're looking for love if you're not in a commitment already Somebody could be waiting there at that party for you, okay? So, more for the Virgo. And I'm also feeling, with the birth card here and the privileged lady, I'm feeling like new outfit, okay? I feel like you're going to get a lot of attention with this outfit, okay? <laughs> You know, the Virgo is like the Taurus, you know, or the other earth signs. We like our creature comforts, okay? We love good food. We love good music. We love, we, you know, we love our clothing, okay? We like to look presentable. <laughs> That's definitely some Virgo energy, okay? So, yeah, I feel like you're going to be... You're going to be, this is also like kind of like, um, I'm feeling like Queen of Wands energy or King of Wands energy, where you're really going to be like, you're going to get a lot of attention this New Year's Eve at this party. And I think that's what you wanted. I think you want to uh, really express your law of attraction, okay? You're like, I still got it. <laughs> Okay, and I feel like somebody's going to ask you out at this party. Somebody's going to ask you out, like, to a restaurant. The Four of Wands is here, okay? So this is, the that's repeating. 
The Four of Wands is the card of celebration, okay? You, you could be celebrating a marriage, an engagement, and a commitment, moving in together, a new home, okay? Because the Four of Wands represents a structure. It represents a firm foundation. But it, it also represents like a newfound relationship as well. Oh my God. And I feel like you're going to this person's house or you're hosting this party. I mean, because she also looks like, I know I said that she was going out and traveling, but I also feel like she's dressed like the hostess, you know? The hostess with the mostest. All right. All right. Let's get into the tarot here. Why is birth and celebration here for my beautiful... Virgo. I know I said something at midnight. December 31st, something's happening for the Virgo at midnight. Okay, look at this moon card. And I said you could be, you could be meeting somebody. Okay, this party is going to be lit. Okay. And for me, this is like a twin flame card. The two flim, um, flame card, uh, representation is here with the wands and they're lit. So you are going to encounter this person and sparks are gonna fly. Okay, sparks are gonna fly. Look at these two wolves here howling at the moon, Virgo, okay? <laughs> I just feeling like with all this water here, okay, like an emotional pull, you could be coming into union with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, so this is a, this is a situation that hasn't happened yet. Okay, this is, this is, this is future energy. Okay. But I'm just feeling instant attraction. Instant. Both of you. Mutual. And I'm feeling, I'm really feeling the vibes. And I don't care how old you are or whatever. Love can hit you at any age, at any time. Okay? So don't ever think you're, whatever, count yourself out. Don't ever do that. <laughs> okay? So I just feel like... um like right away, instant connection. Or maybe you're hosting the New Year's party because you're celebrating in your new house, okay? And you invited everybody over. Everybody is almost like almost kind of like a housewarming party at the same time. All right. <laughs> and now the nine of wands wanted to come out, but I don't know if it did. I don't know if I was just holding the deck weird and I picked it up wrong. I almost want to put it back because I don't really feel this energy. <laughs> but he is on a bended knee, so there could be a proposal in the works as well. More for my Virgo. <laughs> I feel like you had your share of challenging relationships, Virgo. And I think you're at that point where you've learned your lesson. Okay. I feel like you learned, you worked out the kinks of what you want and what you don't want. I believe that the wisdom you gained from those past informations, uh, <laughs> informations, um, or maybe you're coming into some newfound information. But those past people or those past events really taught you some um, life lessons. And some of them was to put yourself first, okay? Because I feel like you were giving too much of yourself to the people that didn't really deserve it. Okay, Virgo? So, um... I feel like that's why like this this 
this new connection that's coming in for you is going to be so special because I feel like the person that you're going to be dealing with had the same struggles as you, okay? And you guys have a lot in common and a lot to talk about. And uh, I feel like once you make this connection at this party or wherever it is, you two are going to be inseparable, okay? Inseparable. I mean, they're hand in hand. They're sitting next to each other. I just, and I'm also feeling like instant safety. Like you feel like really safe in their presence. And I know I just said safety because I just got this feeling of like protection and like, um, Maybe you're in law enforcement, Virgo, or maybe the person that you run into is in law enforcement. All right, more for the Virgo in this situation is really looking cute, okay? <laughs> oh, what did I say? Here she is. We're repeating. The privileged lady, the queen of wands, okay? She's dressed to the nines. She loves to peacock. She loves her attention. She's very charismatic. She's the life of the party. This party is going to be lit. And I feel maybe, Virgo, you're hosting it in your new home or someone you're connected to is hosting the New Year's party at their new home or something like that. Okay. Because this is like, this is also represents brand new. Okay. This could be your brand new killer outfit. You're slaying New Year's and Virgo, you're going to slay 2024. And what's really special about this year, Virgo, is because 2024, you're not going to do alone. You're going to be meeting somebody that you're not going to want to separate from, not for a minute. Like... Even though you two are apart, you guys are like going to be on the phone or <laughs> somehow, you know, I know I still see people with those little ear pieces in. OK, so I feel like they have one and you have one and you guys have it on 24 seven. So like even if you, like, you're at work and like like Susie or Mary in the cubicle next to you, she's like. <laughs> Who is she talking to? Because you're not on the phone. You're not, <laughs> but you're sitting here and your mouth is moving. That's because you guys have that little earbud in there and you guys are still able to like, and I just see a couple that's just so into each other and inseparable. And this is a brand new person for you. And I believe that it's your twin. Okay. It's your counterpart. But the two wolves here and the two uh, twin flames here that are, really lit for each other it just hasn't happened yet and it might be coming in for new year's okay so this is a really cute beautiful reading i'm going to leave it there virgo please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i greatly appreciate that don't forget to hit that notification bell because it lets you know every time i upload a video so next time baby dolls ciao